Hey kids, it's Pastor David Stephenson from Emmanuel Lutheran Church in Rochester, Minnesota. And I've got a children's message for you for this weekend. It's called the Weekend of Lent 5. Yep, we're in the season of Lent, but we know that the Alleluia's that we buried, they're going to return again. Easter this year is April 17th. I hope you've got it on your calendar. Well, today I'm recording this and it's April 1st. But what I'm about to share with you, well, I'm not just fooling or joking. I'm not playing an April Fool's joke on you, okay? So here it is. I want to ask you some questions, but I want you to think about how important it is to keep pressing on, not calling it quits. Because sometimes life is hard. Sometimes things we try to do, well, we don't get them right the first time. So instead of quitting, we just keep on keeping on. So let's talk about how important it is to press on. But more importantly, I want you to think about the prize. Because if we're pressing on towards something, that means we must have a goal. And the goal must be some kind of a prize. So what's the prize? And how do we get it? You ready to talk about it with mom, with dad, maybe grandma and grandpa? I'm ready to visit with you. Okay. Let me tell you a little secret. When I was growing up with my son, we collected cards. And I don't mean playing cards, you know, where you deal them out and you play a game. No, we collected cards. This here, for example, is a football 3D card. Carl Eller. And this one here is Gail Sayers. He was a phenomenal player. And then I've got some baseball cards. Willie Mays, Ernie Banks, oh, and a couple of twins, Tony Oliva, and Rod Carew. Do you know where I got these? I'll tell you. There was a box of cereal. It was on the shelf. And years ago, when I was young, I would go in and I'd say, can we get that cereal? You know, like cornflakes and they would have a prize inside. And the prize inside was one of these 3D baseball cards. Boy, I wanted them bad. Why do you think I bought that box of cereal? My mom actually paid for it. But why do you think we purchased it in the grocery store? Because I liked that cereal? Well, cornflakes, they were okay. I mean, I ate them for breakfast. They were good, but the real reason Yep, the real reason was so that I could get those 3D baseball cards and football cards because that was the prize inside. So if I wanted the prize, what did I have to do? I had to do something. I had to convince my mom to get that cereal and I had to eat the cereal because she wasn't going to let it go to waste, you know, just so I could get the prize. We had to buy it to get it. We had to do something. And in life, that's the way it works a lot of times. You have to do something to get something. Well, in one of our readings for this weekend, we meet St. Paul. And Paul is writing a letter to the church in Philippi. Can you say Philippi? I know it's kind of a tongue twister, isn't it? Philippi. Yeah, the Philippians. And Paul happens to be in prison. That means he's been arrested, like in jail. Not exactly a great place if you're trying to run a race or fight a fight or if you're trying to get a prize. Yeah, the prize isn't so great maybe if you're in jail huh, or in prison. It was hard for Paul, but Paul kept pressing on. He didn't call it quits. He didn't say, why me? No, instead he said, there's a goal, there's a prize. There's an upward call, and I'm going for it all the way. With every breath I take, some things are worth it, you know. I mean, some things are so important, so valuable, that, well, you just don't quit. You don't give up. You don't throw in the towel. You keep on keeping on. It's the prize that we call Jesus. Jesus is the prize that I want you to celebrate today. And every day, in fact, Jesus is the reason we keep running the race and we keep fighting the fight. 
because he did the same for us. That's what Paul wants the Philippians to know. Jesus didn't call it quits. I mean, God didn't call it quits. He sent his only son, Jesus, into the world. And Jesus went all the way to the cross. And on the third day, he rose from the dead, just like he promised. That's a prize worth pursuing, going after, and not calling it quits. So we press on. And in this life, usually there's a cost. There's a purchase. There's something that we have to do. And Jesus had to die. God had to give up his only son so that he could save us. That's a lot more valuable than just, well, 3D baseball and football cards. Yeah, in fact, we couldn't do it ourselves, no matter how much we paid. No matter how hard we tried, there's no way we could ever save ourselves. Only God can. And only God did and does. Yeah, it's the season of Lent, and it's a good time to remember that God has done everything necessary so that you and me could belong to him, so that we could get that prize. You know what the prize is. If somebody says, what are you going after? You say, it's all about Jesus. Jesus is the best prize ever. Well, I started talking about how you can find things in boxes, like cereal. Can you read this? It says Cheerios. In the year 2000, they started putting these coins into some Cheerio boxes. 10 billion of these coins. It was the first coins that they produced in the year 2000 for, well, Spending money, even though nowadays some people don't care much about pennies. But you see, I never took it out of its wrapper. I just kept it. It's one of 10 million. But what happens to our earthly prizes? This is important. Got to really listen, okay? You see, these things can get lost. Uh, these things like they're 3D. Somebody puts a scissors on it, cuts it, and it's ruined. And it's gone forever. That's the problem with all of this earthly stuff. This stuff that we want so bad. Maybe toys and games. Maybe presents. Maybe first in the class. Maybe best score on the test. Maybe best player in soccer or football or baseball or whatever it is you like to play. And sometimes we think that that's the best prize, to get a trophy or like a gold medal at the Olympics. But that's not the best prize. The best prize is always Jesus. That's what Paul is telling the church in Philippi. There's only one prize that lasts forever, and that's the forever love of God for you. That's the gift of Jesus. And when Jesus dies for us, forgiveness of sins, victory over the grave and death and and all the things that make us sad. And the defeat of that devil who's always tempting us. That's what Jesus takes care of with his forever love for you and for me. So don't quit. Don't throw in the towel. Keep pressing on. Keep pressing on. Keep pressing on. Okay? Promise to do that? You talk with your mom and dad about what good prizes are and what the best prize of all is, and how we want to grab hold of that prize and never let go of it, because that's what Jesus did for you. You and I are his prize. He grabs hold of us, and he never lets us go. You've got the forever love of Jesus. Well, will you pray with me? Let's pray together. Dear Jesus, I am your prize, and you are my forever prize too. You died on the cross. You forgive me all my sins. Help me to keep on keeping on. Give me the strength to keep pressing on. I love you, Jesus. Amen. Well, that's what I've got for you for today. And remember, 
Lent is coming to the end of its season, but pretty soon it'll be Holy Week and Palm Sunday. So you come back and visit me again, okay? And until we visit again, remember God loves you with a forever love. And Jesus is your prize.